In this video, I'm going to go through this example of a projectile that is initially at 31.7 meters per second at an angle 68 degrees above the horizontal. And we're going to look at what the overall velocity is, the x velocity, and the y velocity at each one second interval. And so down here we have t equals zero seconds, and at this moment, velocity v is equal to 31.7 meters per second. And this angle relative to the horizontal is 68 degrees. And so what I want to find, so I want to find vx and vy. So initially, well I already know the velocity and I know the angle, so I can use my knowledge of trig to do this. So this is v and this is 68, I'm sorry, that's not right, hold on. Okay, as you can see, I fixed this. This is v equals 31.7 meters per second. That's that vector. And then I also drew in the horizontal line and I <clears throat> labeled it as v sub x and a vertical arrow as v sub y. And as stated in the problem, this is a 68 degree angle. I can now use trigonometry and I'll figure out what vx and vy are. Okay, here you can see that I've written out the definitions for, well, I've written out sine and cosine of 68 degrees applied to this triangle right here. And so I'm going to multiply 31.7 meters per second to each side in, in both of those equations actually. And so here I'll get vy equals 31.7 meters per second times the sine of 68 degrees. And here I'll get vx equals 31.7 meters per second times the cosine of 68 degrees. And I'll go ahead and calculate those. So as you can see, I have now figured out that v sub x is 11.9 meters per second and v sub y 29.4 meters per second. And that's all at this point at t equals 0 seconds. <coughs> as far as signs, I'm going to stick with up being the positive y direction and to the right being the positive x direction. Now we're going to move on to the next second, okay, so this is when t equals one second. At this point, v sub x is going to be 11.9 meters per second because a sub x is equal to what? It's equal to zero. So that means here at t equals two seconds, v sub x is also equal to 11.9 meters per second. And at t equals 3 seconds, it looks like it's going to be at the peak then. Is the velocity 0 at the peak? No, because v sub x is still 11.9 meters per second. There's nothing causing the horizontal motion, or forward motion you could call it, to change. And so what's true at the peak is that vy equals 0. But vx is going to be the same throughout. So let me go ahead and label those in. All right, so here you can see at four seconds, at five seconds, at six seconds, the horizontal velocity is going to be the same throughout. So now I can go back and I can figure out what v sub y and v are for each of those other points starting at one second. I'm going to go to a new page where I have some room to work. And so I'll just remind you that v sub y, 29.4 meters per second, and v sub x, 11.9 meters per second at the initial point. And now we're moving on to t equals one second. Well, we have these equations, v y equals v naught y plus a y t. And this is a projectile, so we know the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. And I said on the last slide, and it's going to continue throughout this entire analysis here, that up and to the right are positive. So that means our acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.8. So that means vy of one second is equal to 
29.4 meters per second minus 9.8 meters per second squared times one second. And so Vy at one second is equal to, and I can calculate this very quickly, 19.6 meters per second. So here at the second point, and I'll go ahead and label it up here, Vy equals 19.6 meters per second. Now, how big is V? Hmm, all right, well, let's go ahead and figure that out. Figure out how big V is. We draw a vector diagram, same as we did before. We know that Vx equals 11.9 meters per second. We now know that Vy is 19.6 meters per second. Those were both positive. This is a bigger value than this, so I drew the arrow longer. We can see that our angle here is bigger than 45 degrees. Now, it was 68 degrees, but that doesn't mean it's still 68 degrees. And in fact, I can guarantee that it's not, because as the ball goes through the air and this is changing, the angle that it travels at is changing. You can see that in this curved path. So let's find out how big V is and how big the angle is. So each time we do this, we're going to use that to find out how big the velocity is, which is the hypotenuse. And then we'll use tangent of theta to figure out how big the angle is. All right, so I'll go ahead and pause and I'll get that. Done. Okay, here you can see I applied the Pythagorean theorem. By squaring it, we're squaring the number and the units. So we get units of meters squared per second squared, but then we take the square root and we get the value here. We do take the positive value of the square root because we're just solving for the magnitude. There is no such thing as a negative value for a diagonal vector. We'll talk more about that later. And then we find the angle using tangent. So tangent of theta equals this. Our unknown in this equation is theta. So we need to do the inverse of the operation that's here. So if it was multiplied, then we would divide, but this is not tangent times theta, it's tangent of theta. So we do the inverse operation, which is the inverse tangent, or tangent minus 1, or arc tangent of tangent of theta, which gives us a value of theta, or gives us theta on the left-hand side. And then we do the inverse tangent of this ratio on the right side, and we get 58.7 degrees. We fill it in here next to our one-second mark. And from here, the procedure is the same. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this for t equals 2 seconds and fill in the values. Okay, I went ahead and labeled this side as t equals 1 second, where we already did the work. t equals 2 seconds. I went ahead and applied this same equation here to 2 seconds. So starting at the very beginning, at 0 seconds, over to the 2 second mark, that's going to give us a velocity of 9.8 meters per second. Now, that's somewhat coincidentally the same value as the acceleration due to gravity but totally different units. I know it doesn't look totally different but meters per second and meters per second per second are definitely not the same thing. So now we have a value for the velocity of 9.8 meters per second upward and that's smaller now than the horizontal velocity which doesn't matter too much except that I know that this angle now is going to be less than 45 degrees and when I did the calculations, not shown, I got 39.4, which is indeed less than 45 degrees. I used the Pythagorean theorem here, and I got uh, 15.4 meters per second. Remember, every time you use the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse should be the longest side. There's lots of ways to enter numbers into your calculator wrong, and some of them will result in this not being the longest side somehow, which then tips you off, and you know it's wrong. And so we can go ahead and fill these in over here. And so now I know that Vy is equal to, um, no, that's not right, 9.8 meters per second. And I know that V is equal to 15.4 meters per second at 39.5 degrees above 
horizontal. And this is all here related to this point. So we get a little crowded in here, so I'm just going to try to organize my work a little bit better. There we go, that's all related to that point there. Now at t equals 3 seconds, I'd already said that I thought vy was 0 because it showed it at the peak. But right here, you can see I went ahead and calculated using this same equation right here, but for 3 seconds, and indeed it does come out to be 0. Now I planned ahead for that to happen so that our calculations would match this motion diagram that I drew in. And that's not something you need to worry about being able to predict that ahead of time. This was just for this example so that it would make sense and it would all fit together. So now if I try to use the Pythagorean theorem to do this, v squared equals vx squared plus vy squared oops, plus vy squared. Well, vy is 0, so then it's just v squared equals vx squared or v equals vx. And so now I can fill this in. I know that v is equal to 11.9 degrees, or not degrees, meters per second at 0 degrees. Okay, so it's not at an angle at all. It's right perfectly horizontal. Okay, now we're going to move on to 4 seconds. And so let's go ahead and do the calculations for that. So at t equals 4 seconds, we can say that that same equation, by equals 29.4 meters per second minus 9.8 meters per second squared times 4 seconds, and we get by of negative 9.8 meters per second. And so when we draw our vector diagram, we still have vx of 11.9 meters per second, but now we have a downward velocity, vy, of 9.8 meters per second. You're like, hey, Professor Barber, you forgot your negative sign. No, I didn't. I'm writing in the magnitude. And guess what this arrow does? This arrow shows the direction. Arrows are really good at showing direction. Negative signs are one way to show direction, but arrows are a really good way. Now I can do the Pythagorean theorem. I would find that this is going to be 15.4, and the angle is going to be 39.5 degrees. And I just noticed that I didn't round this properly. This should be 39.5 degrees. Just a small error, but an error nonetheless. And so now I see that I have all these values, and I can go ahead and fill those in on this super busy diagram here. So Vy, negative 9.8 meters per second, and I have V of 15.4 meters per second, and it's 39.5 degrees below horizontal. Okay. So this all goes with t equals 4 seconds. And so you can see the symmetry here. The x velocity, of course, is identical, but vy, which was positive 9.8, is now negative 9.8. The v was 15.4 at 39.5 degrees above horizontal. Now it's the same size, but 39.5 degrees below horizontal. And so we don't even need to, to go any further in our calculations. We can see that this is going to be negative 19.6 meters per second. And... I'll put it up here, that V is going to be, what was it, 22.9 meters per second, and it's going to be 58.7 degrees below horizontal. So boom, we can fill that in. And then down here at 5 seconds, because it's at the same height as this one over here, I see that VY is going to be negative 29.4 meters per second, and V is equal to uh, 31.7 meters per second, 68 degrees below horizontal. And if you don't believe me on any of these calculations, any, I'm sorry, any of these numbers over here, I didn't show the calculations for 4 and 5 and 6 seconds.